are we all? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Ellie, aka Feminine Interiors. And if you love any in home interior and lifestyle, you've definitely come to the right place. So make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any other videos. So today's video is something I am really excited for. So if you actually follow me on TikTok, you'll know I'm sort of like the queen of doing interior dupes. I love finding luxury items for less because who doesn't, do you know what I mean? There is a cost of living crisis at the end of the day and if I had the budget, the bougie budget for that kind of lifestyle, I would. What's that saying like where it's like lemonade lifestyle, like what? Champagne lifestyle lemonade budget or something. <laughs> that is me. I probably got that saying wrong, but that is literally me. So I am a girl who loves a dupe. Now, don't get me wrong. I know there is a little bit of a negative connotation on dupes. I totally understand it. Like, I know some people think that, like, obviously, if it's, like, an artist and they're getting ripped off, I totally understand that. Retailers can provide a similar product for cheaper because they can turn around a lot quicker. I totally understand that. But today, I am doing dupes from, like, very big designer brands that you're going to be seeing on the likes of Selfridges, Farfetch and the likes that you can literally pick up on the high street for a fraction of the price and when I mean a fraction I mean it's literally like they're giving it away and <laughs> your girl is all about that okay. As I say, cost of living crisis do you know what I mean and we want luxury goods in our home. So I'm going to share with you all my high end finds for less including some that I actually own myself. Whilst we're here as well, it has been sunny in the UK, so your girl looks a little bit um, red on the chest. It was an accident, I literally went to my cousins the other day, and I was sitting in the garden, literally forgot it was sunny, one of them, and yeah, so I'm trying to like stoop down a little bit so you can't actually see that, you know what I mean? But anyway, enough of that, let's crack on with the video. I mean... To start off, we knew this guy was going to get a mention. He has literally been the talk about town for the past year because it didn't find him a year ago and now he's came back into broad daylight to excite us all once and for all. So this is my bear brick dupe. Now, if you don't know what a bear brick is, because I do get a lot of questions like, what's the big hype about these? So many people didn't even know about them and I was like, oh my God, how can you not? So I actually got this last year from Home Sense. It was twelve ninety nine, and as soon as I spotted it, I was like, "There is actually no way!" Like this was like the revolution piece for me, like twelve ninety nine. So these actually start from around one hundred and nine pounds, anywhere up to hundreds of thousands of pounds. The most being actually this Chanel bear brick. I'll put the price because I've totally forgot. She's the most expensive bear brick ever to exist. What is the point of them? A lot of people say it's literally art. So you've just got to respect the art of a bear brick. They are a interior staple now in a lot of people's homes because so many of you didn't know they existed, as I say, and I feel like I've created this mad hype. And I also managed to get this one a few weeks ago. Now, this one was 14 99 because <laughs> Gailey still hasn't done the label off. I love the organisation from me. Um, yeah, so these are dupes. Now, the real ones, obviously, their legs do actually extend so you can have them standing up. There is minor tweaks that don't make them legit but that is hence a dupe like i have so many people like negative people in the comments on me on socials like this doesn't look the same well yeah it doesn't look the same because it's a duplicate it's not gonna look identical and i mean funny you can get these for a very good price now as well as these you can actually get the standing up ones on plt i think they're I think they're £14.99 for the small one, so this size. And you also brought an extra large one out as well for £18. So if you want it for more of a sculptural piece, because the bare bricks actually are in a small and large. I think they're like, so basically what they call them is 100%, um, 300%, 400%, 800%, 1000%. percent And that depends on how large the bear is and that reflects the price. So if you're someone who wants to start the bear brick collection and doesn't have the funds, do not worry, you can grab yourself these. And my dream, by the way, is to have the Keith Herring bear brick. Unfortunately, Gailey doesn't have the funds for him right now, but that's okay. I've said to myself, when I feel like I've made it, I will buy him. But if the Bear Brick Company Medicon Toy want to gift me the bear, she won't say no. So next up is an actual recent purchase that I unintentionally popped over on TikTok and it went viral and sold out. It's actually crazy what the world of social media does. However, I found this table in Asda. Wait till you see it. Now you might be thinking, oh my God, Ellie, you're so strong <laughs> lifting this table. No, literally it's made of resin. It is so light. This is the best thing that I have bought, okay? This is literally in the corner of my studio. I've just took everything off. It's the, I genuinely think this is up there with like my favorite purchases. Now, this is actually a dupe of the 
I can't say it properly, the pul 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 table, I think it's called. Um, they're on Farfetch and they have the most incredible homewares and weird like i'm a girl who believes in manifestation i really am i was eyeing up this table for the longest time and then i seen this in the aster and i was like shut up that's literally the same like the caves literally just everything like i'll pop a picture here so you can see like them side by side it's literally the doppelganger like there's no words of a liar and no joke about that like it is incredible so I'm, the one on farfetch is 190 pounds and this one was 49 pounds I wasn't gonna say no to that, you know what I mean? And I literally just love it, like the texture, just uh, everything about it. And there's so many different styles, like styling that I can do on it as well. And um, by the way, if you're struggling on how to style it, if you do did actually pick up this table, literally just check out my Instagram style video. I've done a few variations of what you can do. Honestly, the list is endless with a piece like this, it really is. That table is luxury for less, like all of these things that I'm showing you, that is the point. So these still look luxurious. So next up is actually a smell. You may have caught these in actually my Primark haul. If you didn't, I will link that video for you down below. It's a very good video. Primark home is killing it. So these are actually dupes of the, the De Boutique. I can't say it, just... Let's just face it, Ellie can't say things like that, okay? It just doesn't, it doesn't roll off the tongue easy. So these are dupes. Let me just... I literally have bought so many of these. And I thought I'd keep one in the packet for this video. But that is the packaging it comes in, if anyone wants to know. So these were £1.50. The ones off the boutique, which I'll place here, are £38. In John Lewis or the De boutique website or whatever. So these are them. I don't know whether that's going to focus, but they've got like the silhouette faces on instead of the number, which I believe is, I think it's 34 that they put on the De Boutique ones. Um, literally, smells the same, same thing. And I see loads and loads, I don't know about you, of these like wardrobe um, influencer, like wardrobe organisers get them. And I'm like, oh my God. Imagine having the budget for that. Okay, a girlie can dream. Gilly's manifesting it. But for now, the one ones in Primark will do they look exactly the same and at the end of the day no one's going to see them the idea of them is for the smell but I get it you want a bougie wardrobe and you still can have that bougie wardrobe for £1.50 and they've also brought out mango smelling ones for summer as well which I can categorically say smell amazing and could possibly smell even better than these these are like more of like a natural minty eucalyptus -y vibe as with the mango ones are very refreshing for. So another De Boutique dupe that actually showcases in a lot of the videos that I do have over here or TikTok or Instagram is this candle. So this is literally identical to their largest candle that De Boutique have which I'll pop, pop here, I can't even speak. And it's £283. <laughs> So I seen this. Oh, that's embarrassing. <laughs> I'm like, you can see that. I'm literally trying to look on the viewfinder and at you guys. I've got no contact lenses in, so it's the blind leading the blind at this point. It really is. Um, it says Bergamot on the front. It is literally. <laughs> I can't cope with me, you know. I actually can't. It is amazing. It smells fabulous. I will never be in it but it makes the room smell gorgeous. I've still got like the little cardboard on it and everything. This was 10 English pounds. Bear in mind the biggest one that Dibuti could do, which is literally identical to this, is 283 pounds. Now I did get these last year and I haven't seen them since, but that doesn't mean to say that they don't come back. And I say this with everything that I buy, like sometimes we see things come back around. So Primark Home, buyers, whatever, you listen to this, please bring more of these out the amount of messages I do get over this candle is crazy. So next up is actually a regretful purchase, okay? I went into Primark the other day, you will have seen it on my latest video, and seen the most incredible H&M dupes, like literally identical. Like, I think H&M is very good value for money anyway because of the materials, it looks very expensive, and it's great price, like a budgeted price for a retail store. So I rate H&M entirely. I... I love this vase they've brought out. It's £29.99, this stoneware vase. It's absolutely gorgeous. I went into Primark and I spotted this, which is literally exactly the same. It was a fiver. Why have I walked out without it, please? Can anyone make it make sense? I've walked out without that £5 bargain vase and I... I, I can't forgive myself, basically. I'm very unhappy with myself. I haven't stopped thinking about it. I'm still clearly thinking about it now and possibly will be running back to Primark before I actually air this video because now the scarcity in my 
in my heart is not okay so i will be getting here so make sure you stay tuned so you probably as well all know the iconic brand of mirrors that is william wood mirrors and i absolutely rate their mirrors i think they're gorgeous they always bring out incredible incredible pieces this whole puddle wavy mirror is one of my absolute favorites all that aren't very budget friendly and being completely honest like this mirror is 255 pounds and don't get me wrong it's gorgeous and if you love it entirely i will never say you can't buy that if you see something you like for ten thousand pounds please please buy it if you enjoy it do you know what i mean i'm not saying it's extortion of prices i'm just saying it's not budget friendly then scrolling on the range the other day and i was like there is no way i have just clocked this the same exact mirror that william would have for 159.99 so you're saving a hundred pounds on the exact same mirror a saving is a saving guys do you know what i mean a saving is a saving and it's absolutely incredible Best believe I put it on my TikTok. Best believe you sold out. What you guys blow my mind. Like every time I put something up, it's sold out, which I am incredibly grateful for. And it just it just goes to show that you do love everything that I'm sharing as well, which means the world to me. It really does. So yeah, <laughs> unfortunately that is sold out. It might not be now. Everything that I do speak of, I will link below. Back again to the smellies for the home. Um, you're probably aware of the brand Baobab. I think that's how you say it. Do you know what? Everyone can judge me because clearly I'm saying all these designer names wrong, but I don't know if it's because I'm a scholar and I just say everything now I want to say, I don't know. You will be aware of this brand. Chris Jenner literally drenches her house in these candles, diffusers, you name it. It's been seen to be aired in every episode of Keeping Up with the Kardashians. Whether they have a little run and deal, who knows? Well, this one in particular, £230, and I think it's gorgeous. I love the design of it, the style of it, the size is incredible. I love everything about it, basically, and this candle brand. I can't fault in any way. But yeah, I went into Costco. Yes, she did. And she spotted the exact same candle, same size, same scent for £35. I think that was without fat. Or it might have been with fat. So what's that? Like £42 if it's with fat because it's Costco. Incredible. One of the most incredible dupes I've ever found. And again, another showcase TikTok piece that you all went mad for. Honestly, everything that I'm talking to you about here, I will always pop on TikTok for you as well because I want you to get these bargains. Like, why not? We all want a little bit of a budget friendly home, but looking luxurious. It is what it is. But yeah, I think these are actually still available. I've seen them a few months ago, but everyone's still running for them. So, as far as I'm aware, you can still get them. And last but not least, one of my favourite ever luxury finds for less. This designer piece was insane. Insane. Like, I was literally not over it. Um, I love Soho Home. Okay, every time I go to London, I go to that store. That is literally one of, like, my dream stores. I'd say, like, if I could just walk into, like, Soho Home and Timothy Alton, them two stores are, like, my dream. Want to walk in and just buy anything. But it will happen and I'll watch this video back and be like, wow, Gilly is sitting in a Soho home chair with her Soho home lamp. Um, why does she do the voice? Why do I do the voice? I don't know. It's just like, must be my manifest voice. I don't know. Out of character. I love Soho home. And when I went, I seen this absolutely gorgeous chair a few months ago and I was obsessed with it. Unfortunately, though, it did come at a costly price at £1,441 to be precise. That didn't stop me from absolutely being obsessed with it. A few weeks later, I walks into none other than Home Sense, you know, it's my fave, and I seen it up on the top and I thought, that's a Soho home chair. It's got to be a Soho home chair. And I was like, I need to see it, bring it down, bring her down. And obviously with me previously working there anyway, she she went and got it. <laughs> I actually gave myself, you know. I brought it down and I was like, oh my god, uncanny, uncanny. So if you see here, this is the one from Soho Home. And then this one is the one that I've seen in HomeSense for £229.99. That's a cheat of saving of £1,200. Did I buy it? No. Does the regret still sit with me? Yes. I'm still sitting on my grey teddy chair in this corner, unfortunately. Actually, no, I do love it still. But I do want a cream chair for this corner. And at the time, I thought, oh my God, incredible. I was too busy hyped up about it that I didn't actually buy myself one. Yet the regret is real. Then, then... HomeSense put the chair, well, actually not HomeSense, TK Maxx, obviously you know HomeSense, TK Maxx, the sister stores. TK Maxx then put it online, which I thought was never going to happen because when you see a piece like that, it's like a one-off piece, it just lands on the shelves of TK Maxx and HomeSense. You just never see them put it online. It's just the way the company works. But no, they surprised me. They surprised everyone. I put it straight on the story. Again, another sold-out piece. But 
I have seen one in store since then. So I think she will make a return. Mark my words, she will. So once she does, I will let you know. Um, so yeah, she is literally an icon. Like that is my favourite one out of them all. I'm not gonna lie. So I do hope you enjoyed this video and I do hope there was a few bits there to take inspiration from, things that you might go and want to buy. As I say, I love a luxury item for less, I love a designer dupe, there is nothing wrong with it, you know. As I've said a million times in this video, there's a cost of living crisis and we want to have gorgeous homes and if that means having a gorgeous home for less and not paying the price tag then... I say so be it. Like, I love a designer dude, but I'm a sucker for one, as you can see. Do you know what I mean? And don't get me wrong, if you've got the funds to go and buy that designer piece, you enjoy yourself, you buy it. Because don't get me wrong, if I was in a position to do so, I was as well. So, we're fitting, we're fitting everyone's needs and lifestyle and whatnot. So, yeah, as I say, I do hope you enjoyed this video. And if you are new here, I do hope you enjoyed as well. And thank you so much to everyone for all your support as well during my previous videos. I do really appreciate it and I'm so glad you're enjoying all my content and if you want to catch more of me make sure to follow me on Instagram and TikTok at Feminine Interiors so yeah thank you so so much for watching and I will catch you in my next video